Hello, artists. Today we're going to do a little mystery drawing. You might remember those from the classroom when Mrs. Sars would have a picture and she would keep it hidden from you. And we draw it together step by step until we finally realized what it was. So today we're going to have a little themed mystery drawing. And you don't get to know what it is until the very end. But I'm hoping that you will have fun drawing it with me. And you'll follow along step by step and create a really fun, nice drawing. So go ahead and grab yourself a piece of paper. You should grab a pencil. Mrs. Sars is going to use a marker because it's easier to see but I would prefer you to use a pencil. Great. Okay, if you notice my paper is being held tall, okay, vertically. We call this portrait view. It's gonna give us room for our picture. Okay, so here we go, let's get started. Our first line is going to be a straight line at the top of our paper. So we're going to go across as straight as we can make it with a nice horizontal line. Okay, notice I've left room up top. Notice I didn't start at the very edge on either side and I left just a little bit of room. Okay, so you should be doing that on your paper. All right, we're going to come with two vertical lines straight down. One on the other side. Two. Great. Okay, we want them to be even. Now I notice maybe I stopped a little short on this side. Try to make them nice and even. Okay, here we go. From here, we're going to do a little diagonal line in on each side. Okay. And now we want to connect them. So we want them to be about the same size because we're going to connect them across with another horizontal line. See, whoops. Mrs. Sars made a little mistake. What I'm going to do is make that line a little longer and I'm going to connect them. Okay. We all make mistakes. We just have to figure out how to work with them. All right. I hope you're following along. I hope you're having fun. Hopefully it's still a mystery what my picture is. So here we go. At the very top, we're going to travel back to the top of the picture. At the very top, I'm going to do a zigzag line. So a zigzag line looks like this. Up, down, up, down. Kind of like a mountain range. You might have some guesses so far, but keep them to yourself. Let's keep it a mystery. Now we're going to travel back down to the bottom of the picture. We're going to draw this and this. Okay. Hopefully, everyone can see just fine. All right, here we go. So, I'm going to start back at the top and I'm going to draw a straight line down, not very far. And I'm going to go like this down and over. It's kind of a weird line to describe, so do your best to go down with vertical, down with the slide, back in, and just a little notch there. Just do the best you can. Notice all the room we've left here. Okay, we still need that room for other things. You might see something you look familiar. Maybe it's still a total mystery. From this little line right here that we drew, we're going to draw a circle. So do your best to draw 
medium-sized circle. Okay, inside of it, you might be recognizing some things. Let's do that. Aha. Now, from the bottom of the circle to the bottom line here, I'm just going to draw a little shape like that, a little line like that. Good, everybody. Thanks for following along so well. All right, we're going to keep going. We're going to go up to this space. Okay, we have empty space up here. So we're going to draw a couple things in this space. The first thing I'm going to draw is, I don't know if you know what Pac-Man is. It's kind of like the mouth of Pac-Man. Kind of like a V on its side, right? I'm going to connect those two. We'll probably take a guess at what that's going to be. A couple more little details in here. Now it should really look familiar. Okay, above that, we're going to do another zigzag line. Remember, up, down, up, down, up, down. Fun. It's really coming together now. I don't know if it's much of a mystery anymore. Okay, we're going to hop to the other side where we have some more empty space. You could probably take a guess at what we're going to draw over here, but let's do it together step by step. So here we go. We're going to do a circle. So if you're ever worried about a circle, what I like to do is practice my hand before I make a mark. So ho hover it right above the paper. Think about the size you need that circle to be, whether it's small or whether it's big. Practice your hand and then get comfortable and then make a mark. And remember, we can always erase. That's the beauty of using a pencil. The darker and harder we press with our pencil, the harder it is to erase. The lighter we keep our hand, the lighter our pencil line is, the easier it is to erase. Okay, so a circle in the middle, one big, one small. And then above, we're going to draw a similar shape to this, just above on this side. So, slight curved line. And then let's match it with a couple more zigzags. So, you probably have some good guesses about what this is by now. We have a couple more details to do, though, okay? So, follow along. We're not quite done yet. Let's move to this side of our picture. Let's draw probably what is obvious as an ear. Let's match it on this side, except let's move it up a little. We're having fun with this picture, if you can't tell. So one is about in the middle, one's a little higher, just for fun. All right. Now, if you don't know who this is yet, the last couple details might give it away. Let's add some of these. You might take a guess at what these are, kind of scars, stitches. And then the final thing is going to be the final detail on our mystery drawing. It's going to be down on the neck. So who knows who has these bolts coming out of their neck and what holiday is coming up where we kind of think about drawings and creatures and monsters like this. You probably guessed it. So our mystery drawing today is a picture of a gentleman named Frankenstein. Uh -oh. I hope you had fun drawing today. We still have to add a little color. So in our next session, we'll talk about that. Hang tight. It's always a good idea to put our name somewhere on our paper. I, I prefer to put it down at the bottom. So go ahead and put your name over there. 
If you prefer, you could always put it on the back of your paper. So flip your paper over and put it on the back. And thank you for being good listeners today. I hope you enjoyed today's mystery drawing. We're going to think about color, and we'll have fun with that next time. Thank you.